Hey what's up guys this is Shukesh once again today I have for you a very very interesting accessory for your smartphones it's basically a VR headset by Xiaomi and big thanks to my friends over bangu.com for sending me this device for reviews do check the description below for the buying link this device is still not available in India now though the price is showing 1264 rupees you can actually apply a coupon and get it at a discounted price of 14.87 dollars let's check what's the final price there you got 252 rupees discount and the final price is 1076 rupees so do check the description below for the buying link now let's check the device itself there you go the all new Xiaomi Mi VR headset and the first thing I must admit it's very very lightweight it's actually 208 gram very close to my iPhone 6s plus which is 192 gram and the exterior design and finish the detail seems quite premium for a VR kit at this price point the most interesting part is it's made of ABS material made by the company Lycra. The fabric seems very very sturdy yet flexible and also quite smooth. Of course this is the reason the VR kit is extremely lightweight and also if you drop it from your hand or head this won't break. There you get the button for your VR glass and again it looks really very beautiful. The button placement also seems quite reasonable. Now what I like most on this Mi VR headset is this zipper design and there is actually a reason behind these two zippers. It's for your headphone port that is if your 3.5mm headphone jack is at the top or at the bottom of your phone these two zippers can actually connect your headphone without any issue. For example if the headphone port is here you can pull the other zipper all the way to allow access to the port. There you get a QR code for an application which I will try later. You can of course try any VR application you want. There you have the head strap which you can adjust of course and I will attach it to the VR glasses, try the VR kit and at the end of this video I will share with you my overall experience with this all new Xiaomi Mi virtual reality glass. Officially it's suitable for devices with 4.7 all the way to 5.7 inches screen size so your iPhones and Note series phones are supported and as you can see there is some anti-skid internal rubber support as well to hold the phone in the middle and also it's designed to avoid any push button home key that is if you are using a Samsung device this headset won't accidentally push the key. Now let's talk about the glasses. These are spherical resin lens, no plastic so this is environment friendly and according to the company these are dazzle free for clear view. Of course I will talk about the quality of this lens once I try this. You can skip to the end for the review part. The plastic used seems very sturdy and there is good support for your smartphones. First of all there is rubber here and also foam padding. This VR headset is symmetric so you can put your phone either way there are two cuttings and there is also another positive side if your phone overheats this might also help cool down your phone. So I really appreciate the design of this VR headset. Now I will try this for a few hours and talk about the actual experience. Before I go I want to quickly show you how to install your smartphones. There I have the iPhone 6s plus which is the biggest phone I have. Let's see how does this fit inside this headset. Well I don't think there is any issue you can easily use big phones like iPhone 6s plus, iPhone 7 plus, Galaxy Note 7, J7, your Redmi Note 3, Redmi Note 4 etc. There I have the Redmi 3s Prime which is the smallest phone I have with a 5 inch screen. Let's see whether this VR kit can keep this phone in the middle or not. Well there is no skidding I can say it's perfectly in the middle so very nice. I will talk more about this once I try this. Now regarding compatibility well your smartphone should have magnetometer or compass just install any compass application from the play store and check. Even if your phone lacks the magnetometer sensor you can still watch movies but you will lose the panorama view that is you cannot scroll 360 degree just by turning your head which is the main point of getting this VR headset. Now I will come back within few hours and talk about the user experience the pros and cons. 
now this is me and i've been using this me vr headset for like three hours now i feel that this is one of the best vr headsets you can buy at this price point let me share with you my personal experience first of all these head straps are very comfortable they are elastic with a velcro and adjusting this headband is actually quite easy as you can see there are two cuttings on the lid and you can actually set the position of the phone to the middle if you need the placement of the button is also I think very ergonomic, it's textured and made of metal and of course it works just fine. As I previously mentioned this kit is quite lightweight and even with this OnePlus 3 I played games for like 30 minutes at a stretch without any stress. Once you get used to you can actually use it for like 1 hour I think without any issue. Now regarding the lens well they are extremely sharp and always in focus. I can even clearly see the pixels of my OnePlus 3 which has a full HD screen so a 2K screen would have been really nice but of course it's not bad at all. Now let's try some games. Now this is the official Mi Glass application I have downloaded using the QR code and it's all in Chinese. I can watch the movies I have in my phone. Also I can watch 360 degree videos online. Now after playing games for like 20 minutes the phone might skid to slightly left or right but as I mentioned before you can set the position on the go. Because of these two cuttings loudspeaker also seems louder. I also tried the iPhone 6s plus and there wasn't any issue. In fact the total weight of 400 gram didn't feel that much heavy. Next I have the Redmi 3s prime which is a 5 inch screen size and after using it for like 10 minutes the phone actually skids to left or right but I won't blame the VR headset that much because this is a very very small phone and the back part is also quite slippery. Well friends that's all in this review thanks a lot for watching. If you think this VR headset is worth buying you can check the description below for the buying link. This is Shukesh Banik and have a nice day guys. Music